Are you serious? You mean there's 50,000 dead fish in China? I would say, what? But it's just, it's, it's, it's no longer what? It's no longer, are you serious? The Hosea Prophecy, this is the book, first book we ever wrote. God said, write this book because the dead birds, the dead fish, the dead cattle, the beast of the field are going to keep dying. The fowls of the air are going to keep falling and the fishes of the sea are going to be taken away. Here's why. And then, then I'm going to read to you the article. Here is why. It's, it's sad. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, and by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out, and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish or waste away with the beast of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. That is Hosea chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3. This prophecy, Hosea prophecy, had never been fulfilled before until the last 18 months since the first 5,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky in B.B. Arkansas on New Year's Eve, 12 minutes to midnight. And then 100,000 fish dead in Arkansas River. 2 million dead fish in Chesapeake Bay, Maryland. Okay? 3,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky in East Texas. 2,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky in uh, Louisiana. Thousands of blackbirds fell out of the sky in Sweden, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. Millions of fish washed up on the banks of Brazil. 7 million fish. Fish wash up on the bank of Redondo Beach, California. It just keeps happening. Last two weeks ago, 28,000 dead fish, Rocky River, Ohio. 11,000 dead fish in the northern part of Ohio in the Little Beaver Creek. Thousands of fish in a pond in Minnesota. What's going on? It can, it's all over the world. Oh, fish, birds, cattle, elephants. 212 cattle fell dead. Stockton, Wisconsin, in a dairy farm in one night, right at midnight. 7,000 7, buffalo died in three days in Vietnam. 10,000 cattle died in a week in Russia. 7,000 bald eagles gathered together and ate the carcasses of dead rats at a landfill in Vancouver, Canada, at Comox Valley. What? Here's the report. Over 50,000 fish in a pond near an industrial area in southern China city of Shenzhen died overnight, Monday. According to CRI online reports, the dead fish are mostly concentrated in the northern corner of the pond and half of the body of water is now covered with rotting fish located there. We've investigated 350,000 uh, dollars worth in the form of 60,000 fish. Now it's all over. So now as they're, they start the article saying there's 50,000 dead fish, now they're saying no, there's actually now there's 60,000 dead fish. There's so, we don't know what to do. We're suffering great financial losses. We don't know why they're dead. I know why they're dead. I know exactly why they're dead. I know why 20 tons of fish washed up on the banks of Norway in January. But nobody wants to hear about it. I know why 165 elephants and hippos were found dead in a, in a one mile radius in Zimbabwe and they weren't shot and they weren't diseased and they weren't famished. They were just all dead. I know why 900 dolphins washed up on the banks in Peru. 
I'm, a, I'm totally aware of 1,200 pelicans that died on the banks and just pelicans near, per, near Lima, Peru, dead on the beach. They weren't drowned. They weren't poisoned. They weren't diseased. They just came to the beach and died. I think I know now why 749 people died in two weeks from meningitis in Central Africa. I think we're beginning. Where's the media? If you want to know why it's happening, I just read to you, it's because there's no truth. There's no mercy. There's no knowledge of God in the land. If you want to know more about the Hosea prophecy and how it relates to the end times, including the Middle East uprisings, earthquakes in diverse places, and other biblical signs, go to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. paulbegleyprophecy.com. Find out more about the book. You can find out about it there. And while I'm at it, why not? The second book we wrote is our new book, Texas Blood Lake. This has to do with that lake in Texas that turned blood red. Every fish in that lake died. O.C. Fishers Lake in Texas. It was the best fishing lake in all of Texas. Now there's not one fish alive. The lake turned blood red. A drought hit Texas. And it's not the only thing. Huge sinkholes. Killer hail. I mean, diseased cattle. Uh, I can't even remember. Extreme cold, uh, the tornado. What do you want me to do? Texas in 2011 was hit with as many plagues similar to the plagues of Egypt. I explain it all in this book, all the plagues that hit Texas and America and the 10 plagues in Egypt and how God used each plague in Egypt. I break it down for you to destroy all ten idol gods that the pharaohs in Egypt had confidence in when he set the Israeli people free, the children of Israel free from the land of Egypt. All of it in this book. You want to know more about this? End time Bible prophecy. It's called Texas Blood Lake. you got to go to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's paulbegleyprophecy.com. God bless all of you. I've got, to, I've got to go. We've got more to take care of. We had a person saved this morning. We've got more people coming to Jesus. Give your life to the Lord. 346 salvations this year. And if you don't know Christ as your Savior, and I just got information, there's a, best, there's a Best Buy in Los Angeles, California that plays my YouTube videos on the screens about the end of, the, end of time. Are you serious? They play, they play Perry Stone, Dr. David Jeremiah, and Paul Begley all day long on some of the screens at a Best Buy in Los Angeles. What? People, God's getting the word out. He's getting the word out. He's getting the word out. Are you saved? God bless you. We'll be back. Stay with us.